Well, first of all, thank you all for sticking around for the poster awards and also for the final keynote address by David Crane. I know you're all looking forward to and will enjoy it. Um, so as you know, training the next generation is one of NLSI's prime missions. And I think I'm fairly comfortable in speaking for Yvonne and Greg and pretty much the whole NLSI team in saying that it is something that we, it's one of our driving passions and is something that we look forward to interacting with the students every year and ultimately is something that uh, we take home with us and, and are proud of. So, uh, so thank you all very much for sticking around and supporting the students this whole summer, or this whole forum. Um, the Lunar Science Forum itself actually does support the students in a variety of different ways, one of which is the Lunar Grad Con, and Jamie and Heidi are the organizers for this year's Lunar Grad Con. Go ahead and stand up, guys. Yeah, and, uh, and so, oh, yep. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, so they did a great job this year, and for those of you who are unaware, the Lunar Grad Con was a one and a half day graduate student only conference where they presented their research, had talks uh, by Yvonne and Nehi about plasma physics, and ultimately is designed to build that next generation student community. The next thing that we have at NLSI for, uh, for students is the next gen lunar scientists and engineers. And is Noah in the room? Where's Noah? Noah, there's he, he's back there. And Noah has been running the next gen <coughs> for quite a while, and it is also really great for early career scientists and students, and, uh, and they perform workshops and career advice. It really is something that, uh, something that we're all very proud of. Um, we also have the lightning round talks, which you, all, which you all saw before, and of course we have our student <coughs> poster competition. And this year, for the student poster competition, we had, uh, we had nearly 30 student posters, which is, uh, it just keeps in get, getting bigger and bigger every year, and we're, we're super excited about that. And at this point, I would like to invite all the students who are still here to go ahead and stand up, please. Every student in the room. There we go. <laughs> so, um, so now I have a little bit of bad news. Uh, with, the, with the government restrictions on conferences and whatnot, we had to do away with these cash prizes for the student poster competition. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the tomatoes to start oh. flying. Um, so we tried to figure out what we could do to, uh, to show the students that we appreciate all that they have done. So we thought about giving them a piece of Hangar 1. You've seen the skin out there. And, and, and we thought, oh wait, that it's full of lead paint and asbestos. So maybe we won't do that. And then we thought, well, maybe we'll send them on a nice trip to you know Barbados or something like that. And then we thought, well, they're grad students. They don't have time for that crap. <laughs> so, uh, so what we finally decided on were really nice certificates. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, cash is fleeting, but glory is forever. <laughs> so, um, I, I will say that uh, we are still trying to figure out a way that we can support each one of the student uh, poster competition winners. At some, at some level in order to help progress your careers. And so whether or not that ends up being us sending you to another conference, <coughs> funding for something like that or whatnot, just know that we have not forgotten about you and we will be supporting you at some point over the next year at some level. So uh, we definitely want you all to know that we appreciate all that you've done. So with that said, I would like to get started uh, with a special mention. And with a poster entitled Studying Lunar Topography Using Citizen Science and Online Programs, Tanish Abraham. He is the current, the, the youngest presenter we've ever had at our Lunar Science Forum. And so we'd like him to come up and receive the certificates. two honorable mentions uh, this year, and the first is for the poster entitled LRO Diviner and Laboratory Solar Reflectance Measurements of Apollo Soils, and that's Emily Foote. Is Emily in the house? 
still guessing her earlier. All right, well, she will receive a nice certificate in the mail and be very happy about that. <laughs> Uh, the next one is for the post, the next honorable mention is for a poster entitled Analysis of Wrinkle Ridges to Determine Distribution and Depth of Blind Thrust Faults in Mari Embryo. And that is Mohammed Hussain. And here to accept on his behalf is, is Andy Shanker. School in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. Yeah, thank you. Yes. And where's the reserve CLD? Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's what she gets for not sticking around. Uh, and so, okay, now we're going to move into uh, the places. For third place, for the poster, stratified ejecta boulders as indicators of layered plutons on the lunar near side is the Kickapoo High School team. And <laughs> Sadly, they had a 3 p.m. flight and had to take off, but uh, also here to accept on their behalf <laughs> is one Mr. Andy Shannon. <laughs> Uh, for second place, the poster entitled Simulated Lunar and Asteroid Environments for Spectral Measurements of Analog Materials is Carrie Donaldson. Spinel and orthocyte as seen by M cubed. Observations and compositional constraints by Leah Cheek. So one more please, big round of applause for all of our winners. Thank you. 